line dance movement. And let's get going. We have no Ornella here today because Ornella's not feeling well. And I'm mentioning that because Ornella's here every single day when we go live. And I love her being here. As I love all of you being here and even watching afterwards. So let's sit in our chairs and we're going to just prepare to do our movements. I think I might go a bit, a bit contemporary again as I did yesterday, but use some different positioning just to sort of mix it up a little bit. Maybe a little bit more intense today. We'll see how we go. Okay, sitting up nice and tall. I'll move back a little bit. Oh, I have to adjust this. This is not right. Sorry about that. I didn't do that, did I? I might need to just move that up a little bit. So, how's that? I think that might work. That. Hi Maggie, how are you? Wave to you. Okay, this should work. Alright, so let's just start a little bit skew with though. Don't suppose it really matters. There. Alright, so sitting up on our sit bones, we're going to use a bit of second position today, so get ready for it. Now, we might even, just in our warm up, just stretch our knee out to the side before we do our positioning. Just to get things moving. If you feel any tightness in here, just gently stretch it out. You can put your hands wherever you want. Because this is just a warm up. And the way we achieve that is by a belly button going to the spine. So we sing a note. I should get my daughter to sing a note. She's a very good singer, but I'm sure she won't do it. <laughs> so just sing a note, ah, uh, and the belly button will go to the spine. Now when you do that, you might even feel that into your lower back. You might feel it underneath, lower down on your abdomen. You might. And if you do, that's great. If you don't, it doesn't matter. But the more aware you become of these techniques, the more you will feel. I'm just going to pull myself up a bit so I haven't got any bits. <laughs> anyway, so we're, we're sitting up nice and tall. Allow the neck to be free. We'll just go over the Alexander technique now. Allow the neck to be free. Allow the weight to feel as if it's going forward and up. Now, let's instill lightness in our movement right now. Allow the back to lengthen from the tip of the coccyx right to the top of the head. Allow the back to widen. Feel that rib cage at the back of you, at the front of you. Allow the shoulders to fall apart. Not literally, but you know what I mean. I'm sure many of you have heard me say this lots of times. Allow the hips to release. Now, Feel the, the distance between the bottom of the ribs and the hips. Feel that liftedness. So you're lifting the hips away from the ribs without lifting your shoulders. All right? You're drawing the scapulae down. That's the wing bones. Draw those down. Not squeeze them together. That's a different movement. We're just drawing them down because we're lengthening, remember? And we're keeping our rib cage nice and open. All right, so we're ready to start, except for one thing I forgot. Two things I forgot. The head position. 
Watch that it's not, what happened to the light then? Watch that it's not forward. We don't want it to be forward. We want to slide the head back without taking the body back. All right? So we're not going to go, because what's that doing? Not really, it's not really helping us, is it? So if your head's forward, you need to slide it back by itself. If you feel like you've got 17 shins, that just means that you're not allowing the shoulders to fall apart well enough. You need to just practice these other techniques. Who else is there? Hi, Anne, how are you? All right, so we've got that bit. The last bit that I didn't cover was the little squeeze underneath the bottom where you feel that little bit of external rotation underneath the bottom. So the legs are actually externally rotating. You don't have to hold that all the time, but there'll be times when I say, all right, squeeze underneath the bottom. And when I say that, that's what I mean. I don't mean squeeze your bottom, I mean externally rotate. And you might find you need to bring your feet in a little bit to make it work better. All right, before we go on, let's quickly recap the Alexander technique standing up, just so we've got everything in place. So we've done everything, we've already got ourselves into position, starting the way we intend to continue. Because there's nothing worse than an example. Seeing someone, not that we're on stage, but you could be, seeing somebody come out on stage and then get themselves into position. You need to be there. You need to be right there, right at the start, start the way you intend to continue, and then you're going to embrace the movement and everyone watching you will feel that with you. Okay, so we're going to hinge at the hips. Don't move your body. Keep it where it was and then come up and then to go down hinge and up easy peasy oh i can see i've got undies on that are giving me um nice pressing in giving me love handles good look i'll just do this a bit <laughs> well i can see everything <laughs> as you can all right let's just do that again hinge and up hinge and down good stuff now we're going to start doing a little bit of warming up of the legs and the feet we'll get going and then i'm going to make it a little bit more advanced advanced hi and i'm just waving to you too right let's go into oh what do i do staring at the sun i don't know what this is but we'll find out Pensive.
your leg in this position. Just hold it there for me. You can hold the chair if you like. Lift up. You must have the leg turned out though to feel it. Other leg. Hold it there. Hold it there. Keep it turned out. If you can't feel it where it is, just lower it slightly. Find the position where you're really going to feel it. Okay, hold on to that. This is really good to um, help stabilise the knees. It's good toning for that. Also good toning for the inside of your legs that can tend to be weaker than the outsides. That's very common. It's very common for people to be very tight here and weak here. And what it does is it pulls on the knees. Then you get sore knees. So let's just do this again. Feel, feel here, okay. Hold it there in the position that you can really feel it here and just up right up there. Got that? And if you need to have it lower, definitely have it lower. You don't have to have it up here. In fact, it works very well down low. But it's a dip, you'll feel it differently if you go higher. We don't want it here because we're going to be feeling it there. But I want you to feel it on the insides because that's what we want to work. Okay? Lift up, lift up. I need to lower it a little bit on this leg for some reason to feel it as well. I could, I could tone that a bit better. Have a feel. Can you, can you put your um, legs like that and can you squeeze your knees together? Okay, so if you put your hands there Feel when you squeeze, this the activation here. Yeah, that's quite a good one too. Okay, let's just do that for, I'll put some music on and we'll just hold that for a second because there's no harm in toning a bit here, is there? Is, there, is it? <laughs> and I'll probably break into something else, so just, just move it. ago 
I think thereabouts, we should be okay. All right, next we are going to do, we're going to do something that stretches the legs out in front of us in a different way. So, hmm, or will we? Yes, we will. We're going to go point, slide it along the floor. We did this the last couple of days. So we're going whole foot, whole foot, ball of the foot, point. So really feel that reach. And then coming back, it's ball of the foot, whole foot in. Now, if you were standing up, you would be, you would be doing it so that when you come back, ball of the foot, whole foot, you're lifting into it. So with a straight leg, but we're, we're doing this sitting down. So we're not doing exactly the same movement, but it's the same picture of the movement, kind of, but in a seated position. <laughs> You forget that but well, we've still got many of the elements we can incorporate which is working through the feet definitely one of them that's very important because people get so that they're walking around and they're kind of sort of treading on flat feet you know not really using their feet when they're walking so we're peeling the foot into a point and peeling it back onto the ground. And then to the other side, whole foot, keep the toes on the ground, don't lift them off. Ball of the foot, point, ball of the foot, whole foot, in. We'll just do a few of those. Then we're gonna to go to the side. Now when we go to the side, we're not gonna go flat to the side because I want to make sure your hips are square so that we're nicely aligned and we're not doing strange things with our bodies and being contortionists. We don't need to do that unless you're trained and you know how to do it and you've got very very mobile hips so but for most of us it'll be halfway to the sides and so we're going to go whole foot ball of the foot point then ball of the foot whole foot keeping the toes on the ground and then whole foot don't let the toes off ball of the foot point ball of the foot whole foot in that's all it is and we might for this one we might hold our arms in second position and you really use the proper i'll move back so i can go over the arms for you for those who haven't done it we're going to um let how will we get there we'll go here all right now what i want you to do you haven't got your elbows locked you have you've got your arms long we're going to Leave the upper arms pretty much where they are. Bend the elbows in that position. See, I wasn't right to the side, I was here. So we're here and we're going to externally rotate the forearms. So keep the upper arms lifted, externally rotate the forearms. And what you're getting with that is like a, it's a, there's an oppositional movement. So you've got the external rotation of the forearms and in opposition to that, you've got the upper arms, which is, not actually an internal rotation, but if you think of it like a Chinese burn, it is, because they're going in opposite directions. And that's how you achieve that position done correctly. Now, once you know how to do it, it doesn't mean you have to go around going, oh, but there is an energy in the arms. They're not just there, they're not just limp things. They're, they've got a technique to the way they help. So let's just do our tondus and we're going to have our arms in second position. So we'll start by going like this and then now watch that this doesn't drop. So if you were resting that arm on a table, it wouldn't be able to do that, would it? On a tabletop. So you need to keep it like that. And your shoulders are not lifted, obviously. And you're obviously open through the chest and your head slid back and your scapulae are drawing down. Now, this exercise by itself is a, such a good toning exercise for the arms and the upper body. If you do this correctly, you could just you could just stand there like that. And, you know, if you do that for a minute, you've done a nice little tone. You don't have to hold it that long either because that's quite a long time to hold this position when you're not used to it. All right, and I can feel that now. Let's do this. We're even going to use the same, were we? No. Oh yeah, we'll use the same music just because I know it works. Okay, hold up. Correct everything, start the way you intend to continue. Arms 
momentarily but we're going to do that a little bit more I'm getting a love hug who's sending me a oh, hi con so we've got a wave to Hannah a wave to con oh, con doesn't have chicken wings either I don't know about anybody else I really don't know <laughs> but I know those two don't all right oh that was a that was difficult now do you feel that down your back that you've been working drawing the scapulae down and be very careful about this part of your body, which is your head. We do not want this. And if you're sitting, as a lot of us are doing, sitting at our computers, especially those people who are spending a lot of time at home, and not everybody, but a lot of people are, it's really easy to be doing this. So easy. In fact, my daughter just commented today somebody who might be here actually and she said that's not very good for your back because of the way I was sitting in bed with my computer in the morning so anyway I thought yes yeah, she's right she knows she knows so now let's do some plies now we've done we've already done this one we're going to go to first position now work our plies and then we're going to move into second position so let's go to first position we're going to go over a little bit of the exercise we did earlier and then we're going to extend upon that so just work with me all right just follow me as i unfold it and i'll just get some now i did i did download some different music maybe it was hovering thoughts I think I already have this, doesn't matter, we'll use it. Okay, I'm going to just let your arms down, I won't make you put them up there again. Keep the knees out to the side as you stretch. 
now this is where we're going to do something a little differently. So we're going to point, lift up, point, second. I need to move back because I've got a computer in the way. I won't be able to extend my leg. Oh, that might be easier to see anyway. So point, lift up, point, second. All right. So now if you want, perhaps, let's try this. Instead of having your arms like that, just extend them because this is more contemporary, isn't it? So we're going to go point, up, point, second. Point up the same and then just follow me and I'll make some things up as we go along. Uh, now, down with paradise. <laughs> you've really worked your glute medius there because your glute medius is your internal internal and external rotator all right so when we're using it to stabilize our stance we're using the external rotation good work all right now let's just do a little bit of body movement because we haven't really worked our spine all that much well we have because we've been doing scapular stabilization ah that was good but oh, although maybe Maybe we'll do some leg lifts first, just to sort of 
finish the process. You can lean back a little bit if you want. Kick them up, lift up, shoulders down, or falling apart.
over. <laughs> Thank you for being here. And don't forget, I'll say hi. Hi, Donna. Hi, Kate. Chris, sorry, I can't read properly, it's my eyes. Um, thank you for being here, and if you know anyone who would enjoy doing these classes, please tell them, because I'd love for them to join us, and you just can invite them straight into the group, and I'll appro approve them. Okay, so, see you tomorrow, hopefully, and I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, see you.